Hi, hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Jan and uh, today I want to show you the car we rented here in Florida. Today is the last day, so I decided to make a video um, about the car. We had it for about two months, so I want to tell you what I liked and what I didn't like about this particular car. <laughs> okay, here is the car. It's Chevrolet um, Sonic, as um, I understand. It's 2013 and uh, this is silver color. So we rented it from Alamo in uh, the Orlando International Airport. So we had it for two months. And uh, okay, I'm not going to tell you the technical um, things because I'm not, well, I'm not good at it, all of this, so I don't know all the things about it, so I just want to show you here, Sonic LTZ, just want to tell you what I liked and I didn't like, so that's how it looks from the outside. So it's quite a um, small car, it has five doors, and um, well, for it's going to be women, women's review <laughs> curly points of view of the car so okay so um, design of the car I say well it's a little bit dirty here as we use yes we did drive come back from Miami back to Orlando so it's a little bit dirty unfortunately so um, I like um, kind of like design I think it's a bit boyish design not a girly car I say and um, Yes, so this kind of type of um, lights, quite like this. I think uh, the idea was to make this car look more like a sportish, like sports car, you know. And um, yeah, I think it does look like sports, a bit sports car. Okay, inside, quite like it inside because it has lever. I don't know if it's a genuine lever, if it's handmade lever, but it's really nice and I like this. So. Um, one thing so now things they make these um, air things <laughs> and they so that's what I, I think it's more like sports car and also this kind of things features like that okay so um what in here inside um nice screen so this is the okay I'll turn it off so it's a, it's touch so you can touch touch the screen okay, so just put it volume down just that's it so we have yeah audio um, so yeah it's it's touchable so you can touch it we have automatic gearbox key key box oh yeah no gear gearbox <laughs> sorry about that so um um all this, no, I don't know, all this, like this, the simple old buttons, all the same kind of in any other cars. Um, okay, what do we have here? So we have some, um, well, space here, you can put stuff, so I have my sunglasses in. Um, well, all of this kind of would be nice if it would be covered because it's not closing. I mean, I had the other car before, I think it was Dodge, and they had that you can close it. So it was really nice to keep some stuff here and close it. But in here, I don't know why they did it like this. Also here you have um, places for the um, bottles or anything, but also it doesn't close. You can't really, you know, hide anything before again in the other car we had it's all you can close it there's nothing in here never used any of these buttons i guess it's off the road don't know what's this one um so never used it okay this car has a cruise control which is um was useful use this use that here you can control the radio which was also nice to have okay here is the let's just put it maybe a little bit so that's it. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's really hot today. As you can see, it's 91 Fahrenheit, about 30 something degrees. Um, okay, so again, these all the buttons remind me like sports cars. Yeah, and here it all shows you the um, indicators. Um, okay, so 
Uh, mileage wise, as far as I understand, it wasn't too bad, it was quite good. It's 31 miles per gallon. Between 31 to 32 it was uh, changing, but it didn't go lower than 31 miles per gallon, so I guess it's a good um, economical mileage. Okay, so that was one of the good things. <laughs> um, so what else we have here? We have another um, hiding thing here, which was a good idea to have a USB port, uh, so I can charge the phone. I tried to charge my camera, it didn't work. I don't know why, but my Sony camera didn't charge for it, so I was a bit disappointed about it. But the phone was alright, and also you can listen to music through the USB, it's all like, uh, play your music here. That was good, I like music, and here's, that's the manual Sonic 2013. I didn't read it really. <laughs> Always try to, you know, do it yourself. <laughs> Figure out yourself. That's my sad enough. Okay, and all inside, it's all uh, the seats are quite comfortable. Well, the, the seat, this one for your hand, the hand rest, uh, nice to have, but uh, it was a little bit not comfortable for me to use. I was kind of all the time, you know, it was all the time touching my elbow, so. That kind of didn't work for me well. Okay, at the back it was quite comfortable too, not too bad. And um, it's it fits my big suitcase and the smaller suitcase. It was all right at the back. It fitted in it and um, to lap the bags, I uh, had to go on the back seat. So, the other thing I really liked is that this. Hey. <laughs> Uh, or list buttons. Don't know what's the other. This button, I don't know what, but we pressed one by accident because we didn't know what it is and we didn't read about it. So, as far as I understand, this one is 911 maybe, but this one was a ser services, I think. We went and pressed, we called to services, didn't have this before in other cars, so that was a nice feature. So, you kind of feel a bit safer with this, knowing that you can, anything happens, you can press it and you are done. Okay, here are all the buttons, again, just like anywhere in any other cars, to open, um, well, yeah, there's, uh, you know, the button to open, you know. <laughs> okay, what else? Uh, another thing a bit weird, I don't know what happened, but this seat doesn't recline anymore, someone broke it, so we had it already, we didn't check it out, so here's the button to uh, move your seat back, but recline this, you can't, I don't know, why? But it's it's kind of it was broken, so you cannot recline the seat. Um, well, I guess it wasn't the fault of the car, but somebody maybe it was too strong. I don't know. Why would it do it? Okay. Um, what else I must need to say? Okay. Again, from the girly point of view, it's a little bit boyish car. I would expect um, kind of young guys young guys driving this car, maybe, uh, yes, younger generation. Uh, it was for me quite comfortable to drive because it's not big and the main issue for me is the parking. And parking, well, parking in America is easy anyway, but I'm from Europe and uh, it's always for me hard to park. So this was very easy to park. So I'd say for, for me, it was good. I liked it, it's not big. Okay, um, what I didn't like also, uh, but that what was I, I liked is that it's smaller, easy to park. But what I didn't like is that I kind of noticed I don't know um, it was a little bit slow. So when you need to drive faster, you know sometimes you just need to accelerate. And this car was a bit feels like it's a bit heavy. I don't know. Um, I don't remember experiencing anything like that on the other cars I rented before. We rented a bigger car, Dodge. Don't remember what uh, the make but uh, it's a big car and you expect something like this from the bigger car but we also rented the other uh, the small one I can't remember which one was it but it was much smaller than this and it was very fast on acceleration but this one is very slow uh, very noticeable that was a little bit weird for me so that's uh, another thing I, I would say this is probably like the main uh, issue with this car I didn't like. It's just a bit slow 
when you try to accelerate like it takes it takes a while to go faster so that's kind of <laughs> was a little bit disappointing the other thing I don't know again don't remember noticing anything in the other cars is uh, the the main screen uh, is uh, getting steamy uh, yeah I know it's hot outside so it's cool inside I don't know but uh, it's condensation I don't know what is wrong is there something on the car or something else maybe I don't know I didn't know how to use it properly but uh, the wind 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 uh, the front window was getting steamy and um, I guess this is it everything else it's it was okay it didn't fail I was driving perfectly fine uh, and uh, quite pleased with, with it so this is it I guess uh, I covered everything I think I just wanted to you know to show you and we use it yeah for two months so um, this is it okay uh, that was my point of view maybe some disagree but this is how the well you know <laughs> how I feel about the car will I would want to rent it again um maybe yes next time if we come back if it would be available maybe um, but if it would be a different one, I probably would go for a different one. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I know the mileage. I think the best part is that mileage is uh, was good, but that's a bit of a, what acceleration, a bit slow. That's kind of maybe that that's the only one issue. I wouldn't want to rent it again just because of this. It didn't accelerate too fast, fast enough for me. <laughs> okay, well this is it. Thank you for watching and um, please subscribe. There are some more videos. To go now we will be going to uh, England to UK back to UK for a few days and then we will be going to Russia and I hope to make more videos about Russia and um, show it all to you guys so thank you for watching and see you in Russia bye <laughs>